There's no doubt about it. My maple glazed ham is guaranteed to be a hit on your Christmas menu. Now I'm gonna show you how to give it a fresh twist using some beautiful Aussie summer peaches. You know what? I think this just might be my favorite ham glaze yet. First, you gotta preheat your oven. Now you want it at 180 Celsius or 160 fan forced, and then you need to prep the ham. Start by getting yourself a nice sharp knife and running it right down the center of the skin of the ham. So what you wanna do is you wanna leave the fat on the ham and remove the skin. So run it down kind of like this, sit it up just like that. And just with the tip of the knife, you don't wanna cut too deep in, you just go all the way around the ham like this. Then what you do is find that place that you cut right down the center of the ham and just switch to your fingers and being very gentle, you're separating the skin from the fat. Keeping your sharp knife handy just in case some of that skin starts to pull away the fat. Because don't forget, you want the fat on the ham, not on the skin. If you're finding it difficult at any point, here's a little trick. Turn the ham around and start from the other side. <laughs> that way you'll sort of be pulling that fat back towards the spot that you found it a little tricky. Okay, once you've removed the skin, you need to run your knife over the fat to lightly score it. What you're gonna do is make these lines about a centimeter apart, run them down like this, then change direction and this is gonna give you that lovely diamond pattern on your glazed ham. The straighter your lines are, the prettier your ham's gonna look. When you're ready to put the ham into your baking dish, what you want to do is place that in there and then pour enough hot water to just cover the base of the pan. This is going to stop it from drying out. It's going to keep your ham nice and moist and it's also going to stop the glaze from burning onto the base of the pan later. I like to lay my ham down so the presentation side is facing up because that's the little bit where that fat's going to render down and give you that beautiful shape. Then you cover the whole thing with foil. Just tint it over like this. And that's to stop it from getting too much caramelization just yet, because what we're gonna do is for 45 minutes, just gently warm this ham through. While the ham bakes, you can make your maple glaze. But before you do that, you need to whip up a quick jam from these beautiful peaches. Here's how to blanch them to remove the skins. Firstly, get a big pot of water and bring it to the boil. Then take yourself a small knife and cut just a little X into the end of the peaches, just like that. You're removing the skin because the skin has a little bit of bitterness and it gives you a texture that's not great in the glaze. That's why we do it. Take your peaches and just lower them into the water like that. It only takes about a minute for that skin to start to peel back. Now, it will be different if the peaches are very ripe as opposed to if they're a little underripe, they'll take a little longer. Try and use ripe peaches. That way you'll get a really sweet, delicious jam. Once your peaches have been in for a good minute, you can go ahead and scoop them out and drop them straight into some ice cold water. That's gonna refresh them. But just before you pull them out, make sure that that skin is starting to pull away from that little X that you cut into the bottom of the peach. These look great. Now you're putting your peaches in that ice cold water to basically refresh them, which means stop the cooking process. Once they've had a minute to cool, what we're gonna do is remove the skins and then cut them into one centimeter thick slices. Now, of course, if you say, I can't be bothered peeling the skin off the peaches, then don't worry about it. It's not gonna change your life. It's a little nicer without it, but the truth is it'll still work just as well if you leave the skin on the peaches. Okay, I'm gonna take my um, peaches, remove the stone by just running your knife around like that, and then they should just twist off nice and easily. Remove that stone. And slice. That semi-cooked look of these peaches is the same sort of look that you get when you do tin or canned peaches. So could you use canned peaches? Absolutely. Okay, add your peaches to the pan, then we're gonna add some sugar, some vinegar, some thyme sprigs, and a little bit of sea salt flakes. You're gonna bring it up to a simmer over a medium heat, stirring once in a while to make sure the sugar dissolves. All right, so you start seeing that bubbling away. Once it comes up to the simmer, reduce the heat and just keep that as a gentle simmer for about 10 minutes. Keep a spoon handy and that way if any foam rises to the top, you can just skim that off the surface. Once your peaches 
have sort of changed colour. It's not translucent, but it's almost, they've all turned into the same colour, which is a deeper yellow. What you do is make sure that the juice has reduced by about half, because you don't want it to be too juicy. Go ahead and turn it off. You're going to transfer this into a heat proof bowl. Put two cups aside, and then just before you serve this, you're going to take some lemon zest, some of that beautiful fresh thyme leaf, a little of the juice, and some black pepper. Give it a stir. Oh, the flavor of this jam is so good. You can smell the lemon zest and the thyme as soon as it hits those warm peaches. Sit that aside. It's not only wonderful with ham, it's wonderful with so many different things. Just wait till you taste it. To make the rest of the glaze, you put the rest of the peach jam into a blender. Mustard, a couple of tablespoons of water. Make sure you use a real maple syrup. Don't use a maple flavored syrup. It really does change the taste. And then we blend that up. You just blend it until it's nice and smooth. Now, if you want to get ahead, you can cook the jam and the maple glaze up to three days before glazing your ham. Oh, look at that incredible glaze. It's been about 45 minutes. I think our ham's probably ready for its first glaze. Let's get glazing. This is the fun part. Take off the foil from the ham. Oh, yes. Have a look at that. You've got that beautiful diamond shape. Now, what you're going to do is take your glaze and brush all over the ham. Be nice and generous. Leave a good amount of the um, glaze on the ham. Then keep basting the ham every 15 minutes for another hour and 15 minutes. So you're going to do it five more times. Pop it back in the oven and wait until this beautiful thing gets all glazed and beautiful. Oh, have a look at it now. The ham looks beautifully glazed. It's perfectly warmed through. It's evenly caramelized. Now, I know it smells delicious in here and all you want to do is dive right in, but don't. Let it rest for about 20 minutes. Then all that's left to do is to carve this beautiful ham. Juicy on the inside, that beautiful sweet maple peach glaze on the outside. It doesn't get much better than this. And you see how I carve into the bone, but I don't actually carve right off it. That way, people can grab a slice very, very simply because you've done all the hard work, but you keep that beautiful presentation of the ham. Pick the whole thing up, bring it over to your platter, the flavor of this glazed ham is unbelievable. Enjoy.